nigga hit the lottery So when you going up, how can you plummet? Damn, you stun it On the land, when you expand the grands They gonna stand who run it In the jam, you brung it Coming from all the fans The Kansas City man do Hey, you guys Welcome back to my channel It's me, Bossy I know y'all, y'all gonna be like, girl, you don't post like you need to. I know y'all, but I'm sorry, y'all gonna have to bear with me. I ain't got no excuse. I've just been busy. I'm a mother. And all that good stuff I say in all the other videos, you know. But I have been posting vlogs on my vlog channel. So if y'all aren't subscribed, the link is below. It's Bossy's Life. And y'all will see me on there a whole lot more because I don't have to get all dolled up. And I can just look like my rough self. So, I know I'm gonna get questions asked. What's on my lips? This is a Alme Color Plus Care Liquid Lip Balm in the color 400 Lilac Love. So I didn't buy this. My cousin Shira left this at my house a long time ago. And I was just like, let me put this on because I already was doing too much with my face. So I didn't want to do no like hard lipstick or nothing like that. So yeah, we're going to get into this. This is going to be um a wedding update um this i probably won't do any more um but yeah this is gonna be a wedding update a lot of y'all wanted to know how the wedding planning was going so i said let me just do one more update wedding update but before i do i do have to um throw something in here real quick and um i do want to apologize jazz um she sent me this a while ago. Y'all, I have been slacking on my videos. And this um, package I received from Beauty and All That Jazz. Let me tell you guys real quick what Beauty and All That Jazz is. It's an online boutique which offers the best in beauty at a fraction of its price. And I'm gonna let y'all know, this started May 1st, so last month. But you guys, I did not get it up. I had talked to her. And she knows what was going on. But it started May 1st. But they do have a seasonal beauty bundle. Their bundle offers like three to five full size beauty products. And it ranges from skincare, makeup, like body bath stuff. Yeah, like this is a really nice gift like package. And I'm going to show y'all everything that came in it. Um, one of the items I don't have because I misplaced it because I had been putting it on my lips like so much and it's so pretty but it was I'll, I'll tell you guys what it was but um yeah this would be a nice gift for yourself to just try out new makeup products for a cheaper price but it comes in a bundle or to give to someone also as a special offer beauty and all that jazz will be sponsoring a giveaway a giveaway a give away so excited so two lucky subscribers will win the spring mini beauty bundle um, featuring three full size slash deluxe size products. And all you have to do is subscribe to Just Boss, my channel. So if you are watching this and if you ain't subscribed, subscribe so you can enter into this giveaway. Also subscribe to www.beautyandallthatjazz.com. Follow Just Boss on Instagram and it's just underscore boss, which all that is also again in the description box and I will put it on the screen. And then also follow Beauty and All That Jazz on Instagram as well. On Instagram as well. Sorry, I'm talking too fast. But at least three of the things must be done in order to win. So the giveaway does end June 30th. Um, and the winners will be announced on YouTube and Instagram. So let me uh, show y'all really quick. And I know y'all probably like, girl, get to the wedding update. I will, but I just had to put this in here, you know, because I just wanted to. So in this, I got a Revolution, Makeup Revolution, London Flawless 4 32-piece eyeshadow palette. And I've never had any of their palettes before in my life. And I must say, they went on really nice. And then it has this big mirror. And then it comes with the little uh, plastic with the names of each shadow. And this is what the shadows look like. But y'all, yeah, I really like this. So this was full size and honey, you would get something like this. Also, like I got the product that I don't have to show you guys. It's an NYX Butter Gloss and I forgot what it's in, but it's somewhere in this house, but I cannot find it. <laughs> but I also got an Essence uh, Long Lasting Eye Pencil in Black Fever. 
and I have that on as well. And lastly, if y'all see that highlight, boom, baby. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Let me stop y'all, I'm in a good mood. But last but not least, I got the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Hello Halo Liquid Highlighter. And this is in 306B Gilded, Gil, Gil, Gilded Glow. Y'all, I can't even talk. And this, um, I like how it comes on this little spoolie. What is it? Not a spoolie. Is that what you call it? I don't know. But I like how the product is on here like such. So, yeah, I just pop it on and then buffed it out with one of my brushes. But all this stuff is full size, y'all. And this is what you can get. So, check it out. But let's go ahead and get into, get into this wedding update. Okay, you guys, so as you all know, because I talk about it whenever I'm on my channel or on my vlog channel all the time, I will be getting married in three months. So September 21st is the day that I married the man of my dreams, the love of my life, the father of my kids, my chocolate drop, my booski, t phrase 100 days to go, that's me and my baby. Getting there, y'all. Anyone watching that is getting married or in the process of planning a wedding, do what you wanna do. You do not have to do what everyone else is doing in their wedding. Um, if you don't want a big wedding, don't do it. It's really about just you and the person you are marrying. Um, don't worry about attitudes changing when you are going through this process of, you know, planning a wedding because some people will be jealous. Some people will just really show their true colors to you when it is time for you to say I do. So I've gone through that stuff too. I digress, I still love them now. And um, yeah, just do you. Don't try to um, go out of your budget to have this wedding of your dreams, unless you can afford it. We have booked our photo booth. The photo co booth company we're going with is Photo Booth Party KC. Um, and they are very, very um, reasonably priced for four hours, so that's how long we will be having our photo booth. Um, they're gonna give us our own custom, which we can do ourselves, I believe, but they're gonna give us our own, they're gonna pay for it. They're gonna give us our own, um, or maybe we're paying for that, I don't know, I can't remember. I'm just trying to keep track with all the money that's going out. But we get our own um, Snapchat like filter for the day of the wedding. So we have to like customize exactly what it is that we want. Um, so yeah, we got that out the way. Um, DJ, let me tell y'all something. We were having the hardest time when it came to finding our DJ. And we were looking for people that were not too outrageously priced because again, we are paying for this wedding with our hard earned money. We have gotten our cake situated. We are getting our cake from the Constantino's market. We have a four tier cake. Two tiers are not real. We also will have two full sheet cakes and a half sheet cake that the venue is going to be cutting up and just have plated already for our guests. So, we cut costs doing that as well because cake is expensive and I refuse to spend that much on anybody's cake. I'm sorry. As far as my colors, I don't know if I've mentioned this in my update before, but a lot of you guys keep asking what is my colors. Our colors are purple, gold, and ivory. And um, yeah, those are my colors. The reason I chose those colors, one, Purple is one of my favorite colors as well as it was my mother's favorite color. And a lot of you may not know, but my mother passed away in 2014. So she is not here any longer. So, you know, I had to represent her in some sort of way. So those are my colors. I also will be having, you know, representing her in a different way at my wedding as well. So 
yeah i just wish she could be here physically but you know she is here in spirit i believe i have booked my makeup artist i originally wanted to go with someone that i really really knew did good work i've been to her makeup classes and everything like that and i waited too late to set up my bridal consultation and she i paid my deposit she did refund me but uh come to find out someone else would be also getting married the same day as me and so she would not be able to do my makeup for my wedding so she did refer me to an mua by the name of shalice mua um i will put her instagram um down below but i had my bridal consultation with her she is bomb.com she will be doing my makeup she also will be doing all seven um of my bridal party um now anaya and yanni they are my junior bridesmaids and those are my daughters so i have a total including my well i'm not gonna include my flower girl which is my youngest daughter akila but I have a total of nine as far as my bridal party. So I have my maid of honor, I have six regular bridesmaids, and then I have my two junior bridesmaids, which are my daughters, and they're not getting their like makeup done. They might wear some like mascara or some lip gloss, but nothing crazy. But she will be doing my other seven bridesmaids makeup. So that's good for me because everyone will be beat. Now, Initially, I told myself I didn't care how my bridesmaids um, hair would be, but after, you know, talking with my maid of honor and just looking at a lot of pictures and inspirations off Instagram and just all kinds of stuff, I decided that I do want my bride bridesmaids to all have the same hairstyle. So they will all be wearing their hair the exact same. So one of my bridesmaids has dreads, but I made sure the style that I selected, everyone would be able to achieve. So, you know, I'm happy about it. So everyone will be in sync with the hair and the makeup. Um, I'm proud to announce all of my bridal party now have their dresses. It can be kind of stressful and hectic um when it comes to bridal parties and even groomsmen because terrence isn't having the greatest luck with his being two of them being my brothers you know dragging their feet with getting fitted for their uh tuxes and everything but i want to say that everyone in my bridal party now has their dresses only two of them have to get their dresses altered i believe and so yeah everything is going good all they have to do now is get their shoes and y'all i know for any of you watching that may have be bridesmaids or brides also in the process of planning weddings you guys i know sometimes it's frustrating when you feel like people aren't doing what you asked they aren't responding they aren't doing this or that but Y'all just have to try to really communicate each other. Try to hold down your bridezilliness if you feel like you will be that. Um, because I felt like it was coming up at one point. But, you know, I had to pray. I had to get it together and realize, you know, these girls accept it. I understand they know their roles. They want to be a part of our day. So, I can't rush them. I know they'll get it done, which they did. Because everyone's situation is different. So... I'm just happy that everything is going good as far as that goes. We have our lighting guy. We did pay for lighting. Our venue does have um, some purple up light in our venue, but we wanted a little more light. I wanted a little more light. So we are having a lighting guy and we're going with platinumkc.com. Um, if you want to check them out to see what type of stuff they do. I told you guys I did get my dress. And if you guys want to know, you will see my dress when we, um, you know, post our wedding trailer. Or, you know, you see me vlog whatever that day or whatever pictures you guys see. But I am going to tell you, um, even though I'm plus size, I didn't really have a hard time finding a dress. Well, 
how can I say this? I had a hard time because I didn't want to spend a lot of money initially on my dress. I initially was going to get my dress off of Coco Medley's website, then I changed my mind, and then I was going to get my dress off the site my bridesmaids got their uh, dresses off of, which was jjshouse.com. Dress, their dresses are bomb. No problems. My, my uh, daughters, their junior bridesmaid dresses, everybody's dresses are beautiful. But I didn't go that route. I happened to go into Stephanie Bridal here in Kansas City. Well, it's actually in Independence, Missouri, so but still in Missouri. And I just was trying on dresses. I took my daughters instead of my bridal party this time. We just went on a whim and I fell in love with the dress. So I went ahead and I got an allure dress for women, allure for women, I believe, dress. You you could just go to their website and see what type of dresses they have. They do accommodate plus size women, I believe. I'm not saying they are only for plus size women, but I did go that route. Oh, my invitation have been sent. We actually sent those two or three. Let's see, we'll say. Oh, four days ago, uh, I mailed our wedding invitations and I got notified today that a couple people have received them. And so, yeah, I'm making it, I'm stressing the fact that you have to RSVP or the wise, you know, you, you, you can't come it's nothing personal but you know we do need our guest count uh by august 1st so yeah i also had my hair trial well i'm getting a sew-in haven't had one of those in a while but i am getting a sew-in with the frontal sewn down and everything i just want everything to be secure i don't want to risk anything lifting with the got to be glue i don't want to risk none of that everything will be sold to my head i'm set to get my hair done that morning of the wedding early early in the morning and um you know my bridal party wants me to do something the day before but we already have the rehearsal the day before the wedding we have the rehearsal dinner, and then they want me to go out. I don't know if I can hang. I'm just gonna keep it real. I don't know what everyone else does, but we have to have our rehearsal the day before because people that are in the wedding will be coming in town that Wednesday or that Thursday morning. So that is the only time we could do it. My decorator, she's good to go. Um, we didn't go uh, super crazy. We did something that is very nice, uh, that I would like. We didn't go all extra highfalutin, but the ceremony will be nice. The reception will be nice. And again, for those of you don't, that don't know, so whenever you do see the video, we aren't doing the standard um, rows of chairs. We are doing the Oscar style seating where the tables are already out. There are tables are already decorated and everything like that. And the chairs will be facing towards uh, the stage that we will be getting married on, but they just won't be facing towards the table. And then of course, during, during cocktail hour, they'll push the tables all out how they should be instead of separated. Like there'll be a side of tables here, a side of tables here. Then there's the walkway for myself and the bridal party and everyone. I'm not doing wedding favors because we're gonna have a photo booth and they get the photo strips and everything like that. We're having a candy bar, um, a treat table, I should say, not a candy bar, but a treat table. Um, um, our venue is cooking our food, so we didn't have to do a separate caterer. And we will also have a cash bar. I know some people might think that's tacky or they don't like that, but honey, I'm not paying all them thousands of dollars for people to be sloppy drunk at my wedding. Okay. So that's the route we're going. And, um,. Yeah, I think that's it, you guys. I just wanted to let y'all know that we have now officially booked everything. Oh, our photographer and videographer done. Uh, Chuck Brown Productions. Um, he is legit. He is bomb. He does very good. Um, 
let's see and he's also the one that did our engagement photos so if you are on my instagram just underscore boss you will see some of the photos he's done of our engagement photos um so yeah that's all y'all now i'm just rambling i have to get ready to hurry up and do a ass bossy before it gets too late and my daughter what is she sending me a a duo me video message for that girl um so i think that's it y'all i can't think of nothing else i have everything pretty much done so yeah i guess this will be my last and final wedding update unless something dramatic happens or something i don't even know i still probably won't report anything else the next time you see anything that says wedding in the title or that's wedding related on this channel it will be the actual wedding video so i appreciate all of y'all love y'all support um and yeah that's all i wanted to say y'all so i'll see y'all in the next one bye